Hi, it's Ruthie with the Popal Backyard Farm. Today I have to review for you the Every Woman's Bible. This is just beautiful. They asked me what color I wanted and I wanted the sky blue. I just think it's gorgeous. And it's a soft cover. And uh, let's get right into the review. In the front of my Bible, I, I always write a letter to, um, I'm a tribulation missionary. So I always write a letter to the people that miss the rapture. So if they find this Bible, that, that gives them an opportuni opportunity to accept Christ. And then I always um, donate all my Bibles, too, after I get done reading them. So it has beautiful, colorful maps. The type size is, I think, I want to say it's 9, but I'm not sure. But it's a really nice size. It's got little articles, Leah and Rachel. And beautiful pages. This Bible is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. It has study notes. It has all kinds of things. I kind of say it's like a cross between a devotional and a study Bible. But it has all kinds of cool things in it. I would highly recommend this Bible. Um, it has here like um, judges. Like how over and over. Like the cycle of they'd get right. They'd get wrong. They'd get right. You know, over and over they they went round and round. Okay, has comes with two beautiful ribbons. I'm sorry, one beautiful ribbon. But look how pretty that is. I thought there was two. There is two. I'm sorry. And uh, so I wanted to go shoot on over here to Colossians, where I was reading this morning. Because I wanted to kind of show you some things about this Bible, which I think are great. Um, first of all, see, isn't this pretty? Oh, it's just so much color. But it also has in front of this, tells you how long it takes to read the book. So it takes you 15 minutes to read the book of Colossians. So if you have 15 minutes today, go ahead and read the book of Colossians. Now this is like approximate time, I feel, because it depends on the version of the Bible that you're reading. Um, I'm going to probably put up a list um, sometime of how long it takes to read each book of the Bible. I have that written down um, so you can have that for yourselves. But this does have this in the front of these Bibles. It has like who wrote it, like an intro, nice timeline. I want to kind of show you like if you were to read Colossians, what you were going to run into. You'd have your study notes. You'd have your footnotes. Um, and there you go. I always write in all my Bibles. It's how I read. Um, it's noisy at my house. My husband loves television and I'm a good wife, so I let him watch what he wants, and I just put lines through everything as I'm reading it. So, like, there's little, like, um, and a little article, more pictures. And here you go. And then here's a scripture that I'm going to read for us today. Actually, I'm going to read it right out of this version, which is the NLT. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in truth, in the truth you were taught, and you will overflow with thankfulness. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that comes from human thinking and from spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. So you also are complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. Now, I want to stress this to you guys today in, in sharing this verse. You know, we are living... Not just in the last days, but in the last hour. Um, I want to encourage you to study Bible prophecy along with your whole Bible because one-third, 27% of your Bible is Bible prophecy. And reading the whole Bible a few times, this is my feeling on the whole Bible as a whole. It's like, I died for you and I'm coming back to get you. Pretty much, I feel like that's a big message I see in the whole word of God. So you want to know 
the times that you're living in. Uh, it talks about different people like Anna and Simon. They knew the times. They went to see Jesus at the temple. Not a lot of people knew when Jesus was born. They were just doing their lives. And we are living in the last hour, not just the last days. So you want to know your Bible like the back of your hand. There's all kinds of people are going to tell you all kinds of things. But you must know the Bible for yourself. So that's what I want to really leave you with today. Build your life on Christ, on the rock. Open the book, shut the book, read the Bible over and over and over. It only takes you, you can read the entire Bible in two, in two hours, 15 minutes a day. You can read the entire Bible in a month. Some of you may have more time. Some of you may have less time. Sometimes what I do is I take my Bible. I see how many pages are in it. I divide it by 30, and that's how many pages you can read if you want to read it 30 days. If you want to read it 60 days. If you want to read it 90 days. Because there's so many Bibles out there right now, and they're all a little bit different. So I just suggest that, you know, whatever Bible you have. And I'm going to ask you, too, a special favor today. Write down in the comments below all the Bibles that you have. Like, you can tell me if you have the Schofield Bible, if you have the um, the Every Woman's Bible. This is new. You probably won't have this just yet, but you've definitely got one. But let me know what kind of Bible you're reading. I'm just, you know, I'm just reading the King James. You know, I like to, you know, I want to, you know be engaged with you and know what's going on and encourage you in the faith and you encourage me in the faith so you know we all need each other okay if you have a good local church go to your church you might say well my church doesn't do this or this or that will you be the example okay so you be the example in your church and you pray for people you don't necessarily have to point out all the wrongs if you see something you don't agree with go home and pray okay <laughs> you get more done by praying than by complaining that's for sure Okay, so it has these perspective articles in it, and it has articles. Here you have an article here again, and just this is a wonderful, wonderful Bible. It's just real colorful. It's cheerful. If you are looking for something to get somebody for Easter, maybe you want to share the gospel with them. This is a great gift. You know, it has a reading plan in the back. I just absolutely love this Bible. I was really thrilled because it's something that's a little bit different than everything out there. And even though it does remind me of some Bibles, it's a little different. So I really liked it. It has little stuff in the back here as well. NLT Dictionary. I'm very impressed and I just love it. And uh, so definitely you're going to want to pick up one of these and add it to your collection. Hey, let's put it this way. You know, if you have extra cash, um, this is something like if you buy shirts, go out to eat or something, just skip some of the things that you like to do and invest in the word of God and yourself. And if you're like me, you might want to become a tribulation missionary, whether or not you keep your Bibles and let them just stay at your house till the rapture happens or and just write letters and stuff in them or whether or not you feel led to hand out Bibles, whatever God tells you to do. Some people just feel led to to, you know, maybe write have Christian books that they give out, you know. Um, but a tribulation missionary, what are they? They are people that are the remnant church that know Jesus is coming soon, that are in tune with the word. We know the times that we're living in and we know that Jesus is coming back soon. So we are preparing ourselves, strengthening ourselves in the word because we're living in, you know, perilous times and we are encouraging other people to become tribulation missionaries, uh, rapture ready, all that. And, we want to know the word like the back of our hands. And the main thing is we are leaving the silent witness behind, which is our Bibles and things, letters for people that miss the rapture, that wouldn't listen now. And they're going to go through that terrible time, probably worse than World War World War Two. And uh, so we are leaving things behind to encourage them because after the rapture, there won't be any you know, real Christians left. It'll only be the people that aren't. So if you leave your Bible and things and leave little study notes and tips for them, that will help them. Okay. So, and also, like I said, that will encourage them. But this is an awesome Bible. I absolutely love it. I want to read through this as quick as I can, you know, God willing. And uh, this will definitely be, you know, put in a giveaway pile to give to someone else because, I mean, let's face it, I'm 61 um, and I will never get through all the things that I have. And so I want to just read things as fast as I can, as, you know, as the Lord leads, obviously, and I want to give them away. Um, and some things I've lost through the years, through travel or whatever. 
And so I've even rebought some things. But um, like I said, you don't have to have this Bible. Just use what you have. And uh, I just encourage you to, to pray for Bibles. That's what I do. I pray for Bibles. Ask the Lord to help me and pray for Bibles. So you can pray for me to have Bibles. And if you want to send me Bibles, I always have my email. You can send me your old Bibles. My favorite, of course, are old written up Bibles that everybody, they have their study notes in. Or even if they're beat up, I just redecorate them, repurpose them, and make them really fun for the next person that I give them to. So it's kind of like a art thing for me because I am like a little bit of an artist. And I do that as well. And then I read, you know, what I can and read, you know, but I do love old Bibles. And sometimes people send me Bibles, they, you know, that I, or they give me Bibles and it's exciting because I just do what I can and then I give them away and I just pray over them and I pray about who gets them. So let's take a minute right now as we close out this video to pray for those people that missed the rapture. And if you haven't accepted Christ, do it today. And uh, we'll just pray for the tribulation missionaries all over the world, okay? And uh, let's pray right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just come to you and I thank you that you sent, had this Bible sent to me for a review. And uh, bless the people that sent it to me and, and, uh, and work in their lives and do a wonderful work there. I also pray, Lord, that you would raise up more tribulation missionaries, the people that want to write letters and hand out Bibles as a silent witness after the rapture happens. Excuse me. I pray, Lord, that if anyone's listening to me, to me today and has not accepted you, that they would do it now, today, right this second. And so let's pray this prayer. Dear Father, please forgive me for my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. I know I'm a sinner and I need you in my life. Please be my Lord and Savior. Help me to live for you and to share about you with others. And give me a strong support system of other believers that can help me and train me in the faith and help me to grow up in you. And Lord, I pray that for everybody here, that you give us all a strong support system of people that really just love you and help us to grow in you, bless the churches, bless the pastors, raise up pastors and touch the pastors that are out there that, that love you and, and just reign Bibles on all of us and spiritual things that help us to grow in our Christian faith. And uh, I just ask that you bless all those listening to me today. Let us grow and become strong in you and to know your word like the back of our hands. And I pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys. So remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.